Hello everyone, and today I'm back with another invention. This invention is my task randomizer. So pretty much what it is, at the moment it's set, it's at one. You'd have, basically you'd only want to have four tasks because any more would create so much more of a mess. But i just go with four. So you have your first task, second task, third task, and fourth task. And say we wanted to pick what our task was. So first we want the randomizer on. And then, in fact, I'm going to use a wooden button so you can see better. And I should have done this before. Start objective random random randomization. So you pretty much press the button. And notice how all the torches are off. Wait a few seconds. Blah, blah, blah. Talk, talk, talk. Then whenever you're ready to choose your task, flip the lever. And there is your task. Task 3. And say you want another task. Flip back on the randomizer. And that starts it back up. You pretty much always need the randomizer on, but the reason why you need a switch is because I'll show you. And flip it off. I got task three again. Task three loves me. Task two. Now to see how this works. Boop. It's pretty simple act a little bit. So, first I'm going to start off with the lever and what it does. The lever, which comes from right here, pretty much it goes to each of these pistons, which if you watch my brewing stand video, you'll know what they do. They send pushes for which will make it whenever the mine cart goes over this pressure plate, well, pressure rail, it'll activate this redstone. This block would be pushed forward as such. See, it's pushed forward. It would send, actually, here. See, it sends a signal through the block to the torch to deactivate and change the course of that. And pretty much I have it running into every single corner there is. So, like, there's one right here, which goes this way onto it there's one right here one right there and that one and so if I go over press this button we have our randomization on and as you see the cart is spinning it goes over changes the track so it goes in a circle it does on each one if you watch boom 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 and so then whenever I flick it off it pulls back the block and it does not let any power go through to change the course of the rail and just goes straight to there so next is pretty much I kinda just explained everything well no not everything so then whenever it picks its part it goes into between these um, trip wires and it's able to activate the wire. You know what? I just want to add some comedy. Is he in it? Let's see. Hang on. I got to adjust this. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he's in. <laughs> okay, so. Then the trip, it activates the trip wire, which then sends a current through here and into one and inverts one of these torches. So it power, so it re inverts one of these torches. 
and that'll tell you which objective you get. I'm horrible at explaining these, but oh well. I'm going to re-explain the pressure plate. It goes over pressure plate, sends the current through, and yeah. Um, let's see, is that it? I think that's it. But yeah, I'm probably be putting this in my world. It's good if you like don't really want to have to make a decision of what you want to do. And it's really nice. So let's choose the dog chose task number one. Do our homework and chew bubblegum. And I just finished my homework and I'm all out of gum. <laughs>